every night it comes back. Excuse me, could I book a hotel and flight? <laughs> what do you want? It's showtime. Let's kick some ass. All your base are belong to us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the world's most where the hell is Skyler podcast. He was supposed to be here, but lo and behold, he is not. The funniest man. <laughs> My name is Matt, and I am here with Andy. What's up, Andy? Not much. Awesome. I had to get up early this morning. Yeah. It sucked. I did not want to. What time did you have to get up? Four. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Just, like, shouldn't you be, like, about ready for bed now, then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you notice, I look kind of tired. Yeah. Go, go to sleep when the sun's still up. Yeah. I did. In, last in night winter. I went to bed, uh, <laughs> what a minute, 7, like 50 last night. Yeah, when I was working at UPS, it was a lot of shit like that. Yeah. Going to sleep at 8. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so old. I'm just, On a Saturday I'm, night, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm going to bed at 7 fucking 50. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm real tired right there now. There are times on the days after like a long day of work, I just get home and I'm like, I don't care. You fucking go to bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's times now, like, because all my other friends, like Stefan and Austin, everyone still stay up kind of late. Um, and so it's kind of funny when they're you know, like, yeah, you want to play Hero Escape? We're going to start at 8. You know, that's not very late. But the thing is, those games can last for hours yeah. upon hours. And then next thing you know, it's fucking 3 in the morning, and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't fucking do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get to an age point, man. Only 22. <laughs> I'm 20. I'm almost. I'm not that far away from 25. God damn it, you're old. <laughs> hey, what? 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 It wasn't like six months after your 25th birthday or something like that. It was like your 10,000th day or what? on Earth. You mentioned oh, it a couple years ago at your birthday, and Josh was gonna celebrate it, but he never did. Josh. <laughs> yeah, Josh. No. He's, he's not listening to this. I guess you could do some math. What was it, 10 days after the... No, it was like 6 months or something, because like... So like, if you got 360... Well, then there's just, we gotta account for leap year. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna Google this. How okay. many days... Oh, fuck. But, uh, my week went swimmingly. I didn't really do anything. I streamed a lot of Marvel Ultimate Alliance at her stream at uh, twitch.tv slash 3 combo. Nice plug. How's that going? How's that going? It's going great. My team is Doctor Strange, Deadpool, Human Torch, and Iron Man. Dude, Iron Man's so good. And they've formed a team, because you can form teams in that, oh. after a little bit, you know, as you gain reputation. Oh, yeah, and, I forgot about that. Yeah, and so I figured they have three big egos in Doctor Strange, so I call them Strange Egos. <laughs> Dude, Tony Stark is such a fuck, fucking ego. Yeah, so does Human Torch. Do yeah. Yeah. And, and Deadpool does too, but not not like they do. They're more like womanizing egos. Deadpool just yeah. loves himself a lot. <laughs> Deadpool's an awesome character. <laughs> Human Torch, though, like every time he's talking to someone, they're like, oh, God, he was talking to Wyatt Wingfoot, and he said something like, like Oh, Human Torch, I haven't seen you well. Uh, that's because I've been covered in babes, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the cutscenes are great in that. Yeah, the game is this the out. same one we played? Yeah, and the right. game came out in 2006. It was like Cut a launch game for the Xbox. I yeah, know. and those cutscenes look good. Like, I guess really CG good. can be... Yeah. CG can improve. I was thinking about getting some mods, too, so we can add some heroes that they don't have. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Are there a lot of mods for it? Yeah, there's a few. Nice. Yeah, quite a bit. It's 27 years. It's 10,000 days. 27 years, exactly. No, it's like 27.37. Ah. Okay, so you got a little ways to go. Yeah. Wait, how old is Josh, then? 26 or 27. Maybe it wasn't 10,000. Maybe it was. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's not that important. <laughs> Crushing issues on <laughs> so Find out Josh is 40 years old. <laughs> Would you rather She-Ra or She-Hulk? She-Hulk. 
I don't know. <laughs> I just picked a name. I like Hulk. <laughs> I like the Hulk. I'm a little green meanie. Oh, <laughs> well, this has been one hell of an opening segment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. No, I'm um, tired too. I'm tired as hell. Because, uh. Hey, man, nap time! <laughs> yeah, oh, let's take a nap. <laughs> here on the podcast. Gripping nap time discussions. Are you? Are you? Unlike you, though, like, I did get quite a bit of sleep. I just kept waking up and waking up and waking up. And then, you should have told that sleep to fuck off, man. And then finally, when I was like, I need to finally get up, it didn't even feel like I slept at all. Hmm. I've been getting a huge itch to custom build a, P- a PC. Me too. I, I, But I've had that itch now for like two years. <laughs> I just haven't got oh. anything to it. I usually, like, I've thought about it, and I know it's going to be a long-term process. Like, that's whenever I think about building computers. I'm like, I'll do it over a long term. But I've had the itch now that's just like, fuck it, just do it. Just I want to build, a, like, a media center PC, like a set-top box. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Because um, there's, like, guides out there for doing it for, like, just over 100 bucks or something like that. Yeah, hey, not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I found out I can plug my hard drive into my TV, and everything plays off my hard drive. Awesome. Yeah. No encoding or anything. Yeah, my TV... Has a USB port, but it's just for fucking pictures. Oh, like yeah. That is. All right. I think it's a good idea, but it's also so fucking dumb. Yeah, yeah it is. But what I want to do is get like build a set top box and put it out in the main room with the big TV. And um, I have Hulu, and then I'm just gonna try and coerce. Or no, I have Netflix. I'm try and coerce someone to get in a Net, uh, Hulu account. Sharing accounts. That's always yeah. a good idea. And then you can put YouTube on there, and I'm going to see if I can rip some of my movies and put them on there as well. So cool. get, get Did you know it's not illegal to make copies of movies that you own? Like, it's legal to distribute them, but if you wanted to make yourself a copy of a movie you own, that's still legal. Yeah, I think I need that. If you happen to lose them in your house, then I don't know what will happen to them. <laughs> Though, I, I heard somewhere that it's really tough to rip, like, DVDs and shit like that. I would imagine. Or, you know, I'm trying to rip the Dark Knight or something like that. I would imagine, but... Yeah. I don't know. Secure. Security, man! <laughs> hey, man, security! <laughs> Alright, shit, Andy, let's just go into gaming news. There's a lot of good gaming news this week. Hopefully. Do you there, have any... There is? I, I don't know. I, I saw I got, I got a few things. Right, cool. I, I got a few. You can fill in the gaps. Right. You didn't send me any stories. So. I know, I know. You I know, was just so going to say you know, that. So you, you have I've no right. I've been a little constipated lately. You, you have no right to complain. <laughs> These guys don't stand a chance. Grab your controller and brush up on your gaming lingo. You're going to need it. This is Gaming News on 3-Hit Combo. Sit down and shut up. All right, Andy, we're going to start off with a couple of release dates. Woo! First of all, the big one, Rockstar reveals that the GTA 5 release will be September 12th. Sexy. 2015. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no, they're pushing it back, though, about, what, five months? Four months. Oh, yeah, they always they always aim for spring. Yeah, apparently they're aiming for May oh, okay. this time, but they're pushing it back. They said uh, GTA 5 is massively ambitious and the team needs a little more time to polish the game. I'm all right with I, that. I got no problem yeah, with that. I got no all. problem. Yeah. You know who's pushing shit back way too much? The Bioshock Infinity. It's like a year and a half they've pushed that game back. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's going to end up being... A Duke Nukem. <laughs> and then what, what they're going to... Yeah, but what they're going to do next is they're like, well, shit, you know, the new consoles are about to come out. Scrap this engine. <laughs> get a new yeah. an engine for the new consoles and push it back another year and a half. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? I don't think... I think in the new console generation with how expensive it's going to be, I don't think there's going to be mid-range games anymore. Because remember we said that thing, it was like two times or three times the cost of today's games to make the new generation. Yeah, what do you mean by mid-range games? Like price? Like, right, you know how there's just a bunch of just random fighting games? Yeah. And there's not any, like, the big ones, Street Fighter and Tekken. But below that, there's, like, the King of Fighters and some yeah. other stuff. So you, you think I don't it's going to weed some of those out? Yeah, because it's going to become either indie games, like what the PlayStation Store and Xbox and all that mm-hmm. have, or the big budget games. I, I could I see. see, and I could see, like, maybe the indie, the network downloadable games kind of take the place of that, maybe. I see. I'm following you. Just not. Because how expensive it's going to be. 
I'm glad GTA Five is coming out in September, though. Not a lot of games come out yeah. in September. That'll be a good month, month and a half to give you. Yeah, before all the yeah. holiday games start flying off the shelves. Assassin's Creed Nine. Spring would have been preferable, but I understand why they did this. Summer would have been awesome. Yeah, summer. You know what came been. out in the summer? Red Dead Redemption. It was like July it came out. Oh, Battlefield Bad Company came out in like July or something like that. Those guys, they need to fucking hit up on that shit. Dude. I know. Nobody goes outside fucking... in summer, man. Yeah. <laughs> dude, but like a, a spring or summer release is amazing just because yeah. nothing else comes out. You yeah, know? it's you're, so fresh. You're like, I've got $60 in exactly one game I want to buy. <laughs> <laughs> on like the holiday season, you're like, i got about $60 in about seven games that I want to get. Yeah. And so then you just, there's some you just end up not getting. Yeah. I'm going to get a, my dad really wants that alien, ver, that new alien versus predator. Oh, yeah. Or colonial marines. Yeah. And so I'm going to go half in with them on that. Nice. It's made by Gearbox. Well, it can't be bad. Those guys make good games. Yeah, didn't they? They did Borderlands. Didn't they do Duke Nukem as well? They picked up Duke Nukem. So yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> they make good games, huh? <laughs> Don't judge me, man. <laughs> Also, the release dates for the PS3 Skyrim DLC expansions have been set. Whee! Dragonborn will be available via PSN on February 12th. Hearthfire will be available on February 19th. And Dawnguard, finally, will be available on February 26th. I like how that's the first DLC that came out and it's the, the last, last one to come out. <laughs> that's right. All I'm getting is Dragonborn. And... As a reminder, all three of these DLC packs will be available half price during their first week on Which the I think they were ten bucks on Xbox. That's yeah. eight hundred points, right? Yeah. I think yeah, they're eight hundred that means it's five bucks. That's not bad at all. That's not bad for fuck, I might get all three then. Yeah, that's what fifteen bucks. bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I wonder if this means DLC is finally gonna come out on time or if that's the end of the <laughs> DLC. Yeah. We're done. No more. We're working on the Elder Scrolls online now. Despite a PS4 announcement on the horizon, Sony wants you to consider another PS3 bundle. Could be the final PS3 bundle. Is it that awesome Uncharted one? No. Or not on Lost Last of Us? No. Oh. Uh, this bundle is called the God of War Ascension Legacy Bundle. Oh, okay. Uh, this crazy super slim PS3 comes in red, along with the DualShock 3, over 500 gigabytes of hard drive space, and all six games in the God of War saga. That is nice. Guess how, how much, much it costs? Th- two ninety nine. dollars uh, three fifty. Three fifty. That's still not bad. Yeah, that's a fucking great that's deal. That's six For games right there. Six games, 500 gigabyte storage. Yeah. PS3. That's six games. Not only right? that, but it's red. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I want to trade in my PS3 to get that. Are you? Are you really going to trade in your PS3 to get that? <laughs> because I've heard I've heard eh, things about the super slim, yeah. like the disc drive doesn't catch the disc a lot. I got a shitty disc drive on my laptop. Do you? Oh my god, it's awful. It doesn't close. You gotta like slam it shut. What a dick. Yeah, I'm thinking about seeing if I can find another one or something I can put in there instead. I don't know. <laughs> I need something to put in there. I I well I, I've never swapped out a CD drive before, so. I know you. You have to open it. That's it. Yeah, I know how to get to <laughs> it, but I've never. Put a new one in. Does it just recognize it right away? Or it should. Do I got to go in the BIOS and be no. like, new CD drive? No, it should recognize it right away. Good. Because that's, that's what I do with all the CD drives and, con- and consoles. Or and consoles. Desktops. Ah, I see. And, Andy, we're going to talk about some games that have been put down. We're not going to talk about the PS4 announcement? You mentioned it, but that's well, like its own thing in itself. Well, what, what about it? <laughs> when I watched the video, I it wasn't as I think in my head this is how I think I danced. But you know, Murray, when they say you're not the father, and all those crazy guys start dancing, that's how I felt you inside. Mean, you mean Murray? What I say? Murray? Did I really say Murray? <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Murray, my bad. But yes, that's what I felt like inside. <laughs> and if they were to announce that on the announcement of the PS4 that Half-Life 3 would come out on the PS4, I'd probably fucking explode. Did you see that video I posted to our Facebook page? Which one? The one where Gabe Newell uh, takes a picture with a fan. No. Oh, Is that God. the one where he puts the horse yeah, head on? Yeah, where he puts okay, the horse yeah, head I've on. Seen that one. And then everyone's like, three, three, <laughs> to, for him to put yeah. up a three, but he, he won't commit <laughs> to the third one. <laughs> <laughs> that man is a god. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty awesome. Prince of Persia has been put on indefinite hiatus as for now. I saw something. Oh, yeah. Is is uh, is the, one of them on here Medal of Honor? 
EA has decided to put Medal of Honor out of its misery. <laughs> yeah, that was bad idea bringing that back. Every time like a game franchise flounders, everyone's like Peter Moore, EA COO, uh, has some sour grapes about it. He said, quote, We struggled with two challenges, the slowdown that impacted the entire sector and poor critical and commercial reception for Medal of Honor Warfighter. Sounds sounds self-aware at this point. Yeah. The poor reception. Medal of Honor was an obvious miss. All right, still. still. The game was solid. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but the focus on combat authenticity did not resonate with consumers. Again, sounds self-aware. Critics were polarized and gave the game scores which were frankly lower than it deserved. There you go, sour grapes. <laughs> <laughs> he d- he he don't feel mad about it. <laughs> uh, also, going back to Prince of Persia, Ubisoft Montreal announced that they're going to put it on hold to work on. They want new ideas. So. Okay, I was never big into them. You know, I n- I've never played yeah. Prince of Persia, so I've heard good things about them. Yeah, it's me all too. I've heard. But... The fuck did I just do? White came on your screen. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what are you looking at, Rocky? Porn. Oh, okay. Politician Ralph Nader compares video game developers to child molesters. Also, this just in, Ralph Nader still exists. <laughs> I didn't think about that a second. I was like, Ralph Nader? Oh, Nader. <laughs> Nader salad. Uh, he said, quote, we are in the peak of video uh, violence and entertainment. Television program violence, unbelievable. Video game violence, unprecedented. I'm not saying... Uh, we want to censor this. I think we should be, we should sensitize people that they should protect their children and family from these kind of electronic child molesters. Oh my god, I'd be I'd be mad if I think in any situation if somebody called me a child molester, I'd be kind of pissed. Child molester, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I you know I just don't know how many. Uh, like studies people just want to ignore like a lot of politicians there's been plenty of studies you can go look on it online that have found no link to violence in video games and like real world violence yeah you'd have to find the individuals that it actually possibly affects yeah and it's just like there there's no link that anyone's been able to find but everyone's like oh well you know video games did it yeah video games did it I know a lot of people say, like, because you'd be like, well, you know, there's a bunch of violence in movies, and people are like, but you get to act it out in a video game. It's like, it's not that engaging. You yeah. Know? When I strangle someone in Manhunt, all right, I'm just hitting buttons, you know? Yeah. I'm not like, I don't have like a wire peripheral, you know, going, come on, fucker, come on! Come using on. the move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, using the move. <laughs> Grot wire people. Yeah. So. You know, it'd be close as if that could happen with the Kinect. You're basically killing an invisible person, but on the screen. It'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> it would be fun. I'm just, just, I'm just saying. Calling it like it is, that would be fun to, to kill people for pretend. You're going to get red flagged. Your mail's going to come already open. I said pretend. Yeah. <laughs> it comes, yeah. comes already, already open. open. Call of Duty t- playing teens raided by police. I saw the headline. I didn't read into it. Some teenagers in Sweden were enjoying Call of Duty, presumably Black Ops 2, when one of them died in the game. Apparently pretty badly. He dropped to the ground and began to shout, help, 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 to emulate his on-screen soldier. All right. Well, some neighbors thought this was weird and called the police. Oh, shit. The police then showed up at the at the residence and told everyone to leave with their hands on their head and get, you know, get down to the ground. Eventually, they convinced the police that it was just a video game. Oh, man. If I was that parent, I'd be so pissed. Yep, no one was dying. Yeah. Andy, that's going to do it for gaming news. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, oh, shit, we forgot about the Half-Life 3 announcement. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. I would know. <laughs> what if you didn't know? What if you didn't know for like three days? And nobody fucking told me? And if nobody told you? You'd have to re- I, would, I would make a Facebook post about it, and then people would make fun of me. Would you have to reevaluate some friendships after that? <laughs> no. I would if I was in your situation. <laughs> if I had a game that I've been waiting for really bad to come out, like for years and years and years, and have talked about it like every week on a podcast. Half Life Three, there we go. Yeah, I would. I would, I would reevaluate some friendships if no one told me. <laughs> Looking at you, Rungi. <laughs> at the podcast now, you're like, "How was your weekend, Andy?" Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we try and keep the podcast going after we <laughs> hate each other. <laughs> Let's go to technology news, you fucking prick. <laughs> Good news, everyone. We're online. Plug in, power up, and listen in. This is technology news. 
Scientists have made the first truly 3D microchip. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait. Uh, they got a picture. Yeah, I, I think this might be a stock picture of a, okay. of a microchip. But right. basically, what this is is uh, at the University of Cambridge, they create a microchip that uh, operates in three dimensions. Right now, computer chips move data from side to side and yeah. top to bottom. Now this moves data up and down. What's the point of that? Oh gosh, uh, today's chips are like bungalows. It's a quote from Doctor. RL, because holy shit, that name. <laughs> uh, everything happens on the same floor. We've created stairways allowing information to pass between floors, which basically <clears throat> means data can move faster. All right. It's got more places to go. That just seems really confusing. Like, it hurts my brain. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of confusing. But basically, um, this isn't the first chip to be three-dimensional, as in you know, a three-dimensional thing, yeah. but it's the first one to act three-dimensional. Huh. It moves data all over that damn chip. Uh, let's see. Researchers worth, worked with a spintronic chip, which makes use of electrons. Minute magnetic spin instead of their charge, like most chips. The chip itself is a stack of cobalt, platinum, and ruthenium atoms. Each layer just a few atoms thick. The platinum and cobalt hold data much like a normal hard drive does, and the ruthenium can pass data between the layers above and below it. Are they, are they like just just fucking with atoms? Are they just like throw a little? Rubium and some silicon. That's pretty much what it is, though, right? Boop, 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 I mean, eventually you start getting ideas of what works together and then I, I add, add atoms to that. <laughs> but that's crazy to be working in atoms. For a computer, especially. Yeah. Where you're just thinking, like... No, just in general. Like, hey, what atoms. do you do for... I work with atoms, dude. How many atoms? Yeah, 12, 15. Hey, man, atoms! Hey, man, atom! Work with Adam Sessler. Don't know any other atoms I can throw out yeah. there. Adam Sandler. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to use that. Ooh. <laughs> Scientists have created crystals that are, quote, almost alive. Scientists at New York University are very close to creating living crystals. Right now they have something they say is very close to being alive. The crystals are microscopic cubes of hematite that can conduct electricity under certain wavelengths of blue light. As a result, when they're in a hydrogen peroxide soup, the right light can make them swim around, merge into larger crystals, and break apart. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, when the light goes out, they stop. That's pretty nifty. Yeah, that's pretty really cool. cool. They kind of yeah. act like living organisms under a light. How, man, that's crazy. How can something act like something, but it's not living? Yeah, I I remember from science class, there's like certain qualifications you have to have to be living. And one oh, of them's okay. like, because, oh gosh, what was it? Like fire, like satisfies like five out of six of them or something like that. Huh. Because, oh, fuck, what are the classifications? You got to be organic, um, got to be able to reproduce, and others. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, others. But yeah, very cool. The House of Representat Representatives has blocked Spotify. Who has? The House of Representatives. Oh, Spotify. I gotcha. Because it's scared of peer-to-peer. -peer. Even though Spotify isn't peer-to-peer -peer in the same way Napster was. It yeah. Is, it has a peer-to-peer -peer base, apparently. Um, even the RIAA thinks this is stupid. <laughs> oh, wow. If the RIAA thinks something you're doing is stupid, you got to reevaluate yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> That's like the really, really fucking smelly kid at school telling you you stink. <laughs> or the Ku Klux Klan said they want nothing to do with the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's when you know. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the RIAA says these services are safe and secure, and assuring access to them not only respects the contractual relationship users may have with these services, but also achieves an important public policy go goal. Of promoting legal, safe digital providers. They don't steal money, yo. <laughs> We're okay with it. Twitter has been hacked, Andy. Ooh. 250,000 Twitter accounts compromised. Is ours one of them? Doesn't matter if ours is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> it doesn't. I mean, what are they going to post something that people are like, hey, wait a minute? <laughs> <laughs> or, or even if they take our password, what are they getting into? Yeah. Our email that's empty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Our password's pretty awesome, though. We do have a sweet password, and I always mistype it the first time. Yeah. Always. I can never type it right at the first. Yeah, I if always I do, it's, mis- sh- it's like, yeah. I yeah, I know. I was f- fucking trying to log into Stitcher, which, by the way, we're on st- Stitcher.com now. Stitcher Radio, three account of podcasts. Look us up, baby. But uh, I failed it three times <laughs> before I got it right. Man, usually by the third time, they're like, hey, now. You, yeah, he's, he's a robot. Which I'm glad because I didn't want to get. I we just got our podcast on Stitcher and I didn't want to like be locked out of it uh, immediately. Because <laughs> then when you would have came here today and I would be like, Andy, I got us on Stitcher and we're off. <laughs> About ten days and we're gone. Andy, that'll do it for technology news. This week I'm ready for news. News. Let's do it. All right. Time for the main event. Let's get it on. It's time for the three hit combo newscast. Let's go for the gold, Johnny. Tyler, you were supposed to be here today. <laughs> Andy, a 17 year old Australian boy, was arrested on Friday for impersonating a physician at several hospitals in Adelaide. How old? 17. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. He allegedly wore fake credentials and prescribed medication. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hey, uh, I think I got a broken leg, you know, I I, I was playing sports and I, I I heard a snap. Oh, you know what you need? Fucking antibiotics. Uh, I'm no doctor, but exactly. You're not a doctor. I am. Take these. Take them. <laughs> everybody, he just prescribes Viagra. <laughs> yeah. You need Viagra. What? Listen, it's, it's, uh, it's experimental. You know, you're not supposed to use the Viagra for this, but really it promotes blood flow, which promotes healing. Actually, Viagra does promote blood, blood flow. Yeah. Do blood out. But it promotes it to like a specific area. <laughs> <laughs> hey, blood, you're going to the dick. <laughs> <laughs> the unidentified teen, unidentified, unidentified. Oh. They don't know who he is, so he could still be out there. Uh, Wait, did they catch him? Apparently not. Oh, shit, I was under the assumption they caught him. Oh, no, cops, yeah, they caught him. Oh, I damn. guess they're keeping him unidentified oh, okay. because he's a minor, technically. Oh, yeah. Um, there's been reports as early as October of a fake doctor walking around in area hospitals. In each of the three instances, the kid was caught and thrown out, but not before he assisted a 12-year-old girl who was injured in a scooter accident. See, the hang The boy was seen on all three occasions wearing, occasions wearing scrubs, name badges, and a stethoscope. He allegedly offered first aid to the general public and read patient notes. Oh, man, that could get them sued. The South Australian Health Department plans on bolstering its hospital security after three separate facilities were ble- breached by the suspect. The teen was suspected as a volunteer at one of the hospitals in November 2011 for inappropriate behavior. Uh, suspended, I said suspected. He posted bail on Friday and will be arraigned in youth court soon. Oh my god. He's apparently gained the moniker Doctor Who. <laughs> ha! Frederick Gilliard. Now this story was, this story was cock tease. Really? Because here's here's the headline: Frederick Gilliard used a garden gnome to kill his wife. <laughs> yes. A 76 year old man who bludgeoned his wife to death with a garden gnome was sentenced to f- on Friday to four years in jail. Frederick Gilliard of Blackpool, England, told police he just lost it when he attacked his wife Josephine last year with a gnome and an eight inch carving knife. So you don't learn about the knife till later. But I only had a few stories for news, so I kept it in. Wait a minute! No, 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 no! Wait a minute! He attacked her with a gnome and a knife. Oh, okay. But it said bludgeoned her to death. I know, but... So did he stab her first? You gotta think the him? knife was in there somewhere. Yeah, did he Maybe he stabbed her a few times, but the bludgeoning was the, the one that did her in. <laughs> that poor gnome. <laughs> what if it was the Travelocity gnome? <laughs> the next commercial... You won't believe the things I've seen. <laughs> the next commercial, he's just lying on the ground crying. <laughs> Every night, it comes back. Excuse me, could I book a hotel and flight? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Not much to say. Four years oh, ago. I thought you were going to be like, and that's news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but there, he, he bludgeoned his wife to death with the garden gnome. He got four years. Four years? That's yeah, he got like yeah. a manslaughter charge. They reduced it somehow. Hmm. He was hard. Loretta Lacey gets four speeding tickets in less than three hours. What? 
Loretta. Loretta. Oh, okay. I thought you said never mind. Never mind. I'll stupid. Low rider Lacey? Yeah. <laughs> Did you seriously think yeah. I said that? Did I pick that up? Awesome. Loretta Lacey gets four speeding tickets in less than three hours. Holy crap, where's she at? Uh looks like Sioux Falls, South Dakota. What? Oh, it's really easy to speed up there. <laughs> yeah. Um have you ever had a speeding ticket? No. Well I have, and they suck. Dude. <laughs> I had, I had a speeding. I was sixteen, and I get the speeding ticket, and it was either pay the speeding ticket, and the speeding ticket was like eighty six bucks, or take an eight hour stop class, Ooh. and the stop class was eighty bucks. Oh, oh but I also get you. it removed off my record. Oh yeah, that's... so I was like, fuck, I saved six dollars here. How was that class? You know, honestly, it was weird because like I was there, I I got caught for doing nine over. All right. Nine over, and that was it. Nine over, <laughs> and there's people there that like had hit fire hydrants and stuff like that. And then it was just like the guy that was doing the class, his name was Trooper Cooper, um, <laughs> had great stories, and he was a cool guy. And er- everyone in the class was pretty cool, but there were some really dumb people. Really, like, like really dumb. Like I'm like, they really need this class. <laughs> Holy shit! Like one lady was like, they were talking about red lights and what to do at a red light. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> one lady raises her hand. She's like, but isn't it true that if you're stopped at a red light and there's no one coming, you can go? <laughs> Everyone's just like, fucking serious? Oh, my God. I do that when it's like four in the morning and I don't see cars either way. I'll sometimes do it. Have you ever ran a red light? On purpose? I've done it on accident once or twice. I've done it on accident twice. I've never ever done it on purpose. Both when I was 16. I was a bad driver when I was 16, apparently. I also bumped a car in a parking lot, but I mean, like, literally a uh, half a mile an hour, so I just Uh-oh. left. <laughs> <laughs> Boop! I'm out. Shouldn't say that because you know if we're we're trying to rent that car for SGC. <laughs> they 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 look us up. If any listeners, you know, they, they're listening to this, like, man, that guy doesn't sound like a good driver. <laughs> it was six years ago. Six. My first time driving on the interstate when I was do- taking my driving classes. Um, the very first time driving, I'm like, they're not going to take us on the interstate. There's no way. But instead they're like, no, yeah, we're going on the interstate. So I'm driving on the interstate and I'm in the middle lane and I come around a corner and there's a folding chair in the middle of my lane. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, I'm 15 at the time. I'm like, the fuck do I do? <laughs> like, you did this. <laughs> Turn to my driving instructor. <laughs> um, scared the crap out of me. Your driving instructor or the chair? The chair. Oh, oh! My I didn't God. know what to. It's my very first time on the interstate. I'm nervous as hell, and I round the corner, and bam! There's a chair. <laughs> Me and George had a fucking oh shitty driving instructor. Really, my driving instructor is actually pretty cool. He made it, when we when one of us weren't driving, the other one was sitting in the back, and uh, we had to hold a pie pan and practice our our steering techniques oh, oh, on the pie pan. Stupid. <laughs> No, I'm that's, serious. That's stupid. I, I'm dead. I know you're dead serious. If but that's we didn't stupid. do it, he would yell at us too. <laughs> and and sometimes he would. Sh- <laughs> he had a fucking magnetic board, and he would have cars with magnets on top of us to show us how to do driving maneuvers. Oh my god. <laughs> and he was just people in life are such dicks to George. I don't know why. Like, teachers fucking hated him for no reason. That sucks. I know. George has had that bad luck, and I think this teacher did not like George. <laughs> What's there not to like about George? I know. He's a sweet dude. <laughs> and he never does anything bad. He's never done something horrible in his life. But yeah, if teachers fucking hated him. That fucking sucks. I know. I know. I mean, it, was, it was gay. <laughs> it was gay. My driving instructor would be like... When we're merging onto the interstate or something, he'd be like, you better kick it. You better kick it. Get it in there. Get it in there. Speed it up. <laughs> and then when we'd get in, he'd go. <laughs> he'd snap his fingers, clap his hands, and point forward. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was just like, bro, go. Go this way. The, when, on the final day of the, the driving instructions, uh, we took the test and... The one I was the most concerned about was the roadside stop because I didn't want to stop on the interstate. Yeah. He, he made me do it in a neighborhood. Yeah, I did mine <laughs> in a gas station. Yeah, he was like, hey, let's practice. We're almost back to, this is at Burke High School. We're <laughs> almost back to Burke. He's like, oh, yeah, let's do the roadside stop. 
all right. <laughs> Pulled up next to a curve, hit my flashers. What's up? <laughs> Put it in park, handbrake. <laughs> Russell, your neighbor. <laughs> yeah, we'll rustle his hair a little bit. <laughs> We're stopping for a second, buddy. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm going to go take an inspection of the car. <laughs> Emergency-wise. So, yeah, Loretta Lacey <laughs> got oh, four wow. speeding tickets in three hours. <clears throat> uh, she got one for going 112 miles an hour. What? <laughs> yeah. All right. Lacey, who was 49, made her run of dubious glory on Friday when she allegedly raced from her home in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, across southern Minnesota in hopes to getting to a granddaughter's middle school dance and r- in Racine, Wisconsin, according to Minneapolis Star Tribune. Holy so shit. She's going like multiple states. It was like cross state. Holy oh, shit. Trooper Cooper had a story about how <laughs> the, the biggest speeding ticket he wrote was this lady was apparently had her headphones in and couldn't hear... Wasn't paying attention, couldn't see or hear him behind her. Oh, so he, he was like, she was doing like 100 miles an hour. He's like, she went through a construction zone. Oh, He's like, after after a while, like, if they don't see you, it's technically like evading a police officer. He's yeah. like, I threw that one out, and it was still the highest ticket I ever wrote. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, oh, God, he's like multiple hundreds of dollars, like close, to, like, close to a thousand or something. Uh, like, just a ridiculous speeding ticket. Ah. Uh, so the distance is approximately 525 miles. Holy shit. Yeah. That's a long fucking distance. Yeah. Man. Lacey got her first ticket shortly before 2.30 p.m. on Interstate 90. Dispatchers received two separate complaints of a vehicle speeding and weaving in and out of traffic along the interstate. Lacey was pulled over when a state trooper clocked her going 112 miles an hour. She that was, is fucking fast. Yeah, she, yes, that is. Yeah. She was then ticketed for speeding, no insurance, and possession of marijuana. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. The, the second ticket came 20 miles later when she was pulled over for allegedly doing 99 miles an hour. An hour later, she got a third ticket for doing 88 miles an hour. <laughs> and Lacey got her fourth ticket by again doing 88 miles an hour. The speeding tickets may not have been the worst part of Lacey's day. Despite her efforts to get to her granddaughter's house, she did not make it on time. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. my God. That's amazing. Pretty oh crazy. Oh, my God. And, Andy, we got to take a trip to Florida. Yes! And we only got one story. In That's fine. This week. It's still Florida. Yeah, it's still Florida. Florida man butt dials 911 while selling drugs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing worse than... The butt dialing still exists? Yeah, it would touch phones. I guess it does. Camilla, she, uh, I guess her phone, um, when she puts it into her coat pocket, the way she does, it like can unlock the phone. Huh. I have call confirmed, so maybe that... Mm. Or basically when you hit someone that says, you sure? Yeah, iPhone needs that. I wonder if I... I bet iPhone's got it. It's got it. Yeah. Or at least something similar. Uh, Matthew Dollarhide. Dollarhide. Sweet. <laughs> wonder if he has a stash of hidden cash somewhere. In his hide. Ha <laughs> ha, Dollarhide. <laughs> Who's 19. He's of Orange City, Florida. It could be like a movie like Roadhouse. <laughs> Dollarhide. Dollarhide. <laughs> Uh, he was driving a tow truck with two passengers when all three began discussing selling drugs. Unfortunately for him, Dollarhide had a cell phone in his pocket and apparently had dialed 911. The dispatcher listened in and heard all three discussing drugs during the call Tuesday night. The dispatcher also concluded from the conversation that they were in a tow truck, heard the name Harry several times. After being notified by the dispatcher, local deputies traced the area where the signal was coming from and soon found the tow truck with the name Harry's towing on it. Oh, man. Dollar Hyde and his passengers were caught off guard when pulled over and asked why they were discussing drug sales. Oh, <laughs> That's gotta man. Suck. Yeah. That's got to be. There's no way that you can. Yeah. Uh we weren't. Yeah. Check oh, check your phone, kid. Nine one one duration twenty minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Deputy searched the car and found a crack pipe. Oh. Dollar Hyde said the pipe belonged to his father, but that he had taken it and put it in his pocket because he didn't want the family's landlord to discover his father used drugs. Deputies weren't buying it. Dollar Hyde was arrested and charged with possession of drug paraphernalia. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah. That's, that's hilarious, but that sucks. That's what they must have felt like. Just. 
Yes. Scruffy believes in this company. <laughs> well, that's second party on crying. <laughs> he's, he's sad that he had the crack pipe taken away from him. <laughs> Giggity. Scruffy believes in this crack pipe. So most I've used that the soundboard in like a month. <laughs> we go through month spurts. Go fuck yourself. What's that from? <laughs> it's from uh. Fuck, what was it called? Sonic for Hire. Oh, yeah, you showed me because I asked you that one time. Yeah, Sonic for Hire on YouTube. You done goofed. <laughs> yes. Fuck yes. Was not here today. So that's going to do it for another episode of 3 at Combo Podcast. This is episode 80. Fuck, fuck, yeah. <laughs> that's like when you get up higher after a long day and you know you're getting old, you're just like, fuck. <laughs> Remember, you can find us on Facebook.com slash 3 hit combo podcast, Twitter.com slash 3 hit combo PC. That's number three PC stands for podcast. And guess what? We're fucking using it, too. Yeah. We're, we've been using Twitter, so we have, you have a reason to follow us. Once or tw- like once, maybe every once or two days, I'll do something on Twitter. Yeah, and, and I'll, I've been tweeting, so. I don't, I don't quite understand Twitter, actually. I really think yeah. I need like a video tutorial on how to use Twitter. I'm on Twitter like every day, so. Yeah, I mean, you explain it to me. Yeah, I'll explain it to you. Explain. These are people you follow, and these are what they're saying. Well, I understand that. It's like the hashtags, the RTs, the ads. I don't understand how those work. So. And damn, Andy. I know. <laughs> I know on everything else with fucking Twitter. Uh, also, you can email us at 3 podcast at gmail.com. You can, can find email. us on gpxgaming.net. Um, we are on Stitcher Radio now, so find 3 Combo Podcast on Stitcher. You can also get the app on your phone. Listen to us on your phone very easily. Yeah, I do. Search us on YouTube. Uh, I've been streaming. I've actually been streaming <laughs> video games. So check out our stream at 3 Hit Combo, uh, twitch.tv slash 3 Combo. We got some cool games coming up. Yeah, we got some great games coming up. Right now I've been playing Marvel with an Alliance. Uh, rumors are that Civ Five and Portal 2 will be coming up. Mm. Mm. Those are some tasty rumors. <laughs> so for Andy, this is Matt signing out. <laughs> Thank you.